Hi everyone, Nin Cohen here from the Hyperactive Book One. I am going to start reading vlog number two. Um, going to actually add some more of my, you know, day to day life type stuff. And the book I've chosen is Harrow the Ninth because I promised myself I'll get this read by the end of the year. And I figure if I put it as a reading vlog, I'll have some accountability. Um, it's going to be interesting because I really do struggle with the more physical books at the moment, just with how busy life is and that I can usually get um, ebook ebooks read faster because I can do them, read them when I'm, you know, putting my son to bed in the dark and stuff like that. And I can still read them, but this book is so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. And... I just, I love Gideon and how it ended just, it just shook me, totally shook me. So I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how we go. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh, look at all those beautiful, pretty skulls. Ah, I can't wait. Let's get into this. Oh, hey, um, I tried. I really, really tried. And after two pages, I realized I'm going to struggle. Um, I've never really read many second person books. This starts as second person. I flicked through and realized it's not all second person, thank God. But so far, I'm struggling. Also, carrying the book around, etc. So... What I've done is I've actually gone and gotten the audio for the book and I'm going to read along at certain parts, I hope. Um, I'm going to see how it goes, but oh God, I really want to like this book and I just really hope that the first person, uh, the second person story doesn't, doesn't take it too far away from me. Um... So, ooh, a bit nervous, but I'm still, I'm still going to give it a go. But like I said, I've got the audio now and I'm going to, I'm going to try. Okay. Hey, so I've just dropped my little man off at kindy. I am heading down to get the coffee because I need the coffee <laughs> and I'm a little bit addicted. Um, so I'm actually listening to... Harrow the Ninth while I drive and it's really working well. Um, like I said in previous update, I hope, um, I tried doing the whole reading the paperback. I just wasn't getting to it. I wasn't doing it. So I've got the audio and I've been reading along when I can. Um, it's been great being able to highlight different things. So that's really exciting. So I'm off to get coffee, listening to it. And then I'll head home and um, get some of the day work done. Now, usually I get to listen to audio while I do some of the some of the more less taxing brain data entry for my job, and hopefully I can do that today too um, and get a bit more of Harrow Red. I am going to try and get some writing done as well today, but we'll see how it all goes. So I'm going to say adios so I can actually listen to Harrow while I'm driving. All right, well, take it easy and I'll catch up and catch, catch up, uh, check in. I think I just added those two together, but that sounds pretty much like what I do. Um, so yeah, well, see you later. Well, hey everyone. So as per doctor's orders, I'll, um, I'm trying to drink more water. Okay, I'm failing so far today. I've had two coffees. Well, I'm on my second coffee. But I'm out in the sunshine, out in this lovely little area that my partner is slowly fixing up for me. Um, and yeah, so I'm laxing out and I am reading it. Well, actually listening to it. And oh my gosh. So it goes in, 
like in and out of second person and third person and I it, it, it's a really distinct yes that's the cat um, it's a really clear and distinct way of differentiating between different times and it's um it's amazing it's absolutely phenomenal i'm now up to what was it chapter eight i think i'm on and i have been highlighting like crazy different sections it's been really hard to not stop and highlight everything and i'm not sure if that's a pet or a person next door but that's okay whatever um so Khaleesi's there trying to get out and I've got lovely beams of light from the fence and I am just enjoying some time in the sun, listening to my book, theoretically trying to drink some water, but you know, it, it it's more the coffee that's getting drunk. Um, but it's so nice. I've, I've done three hours of work. Um, and I'm just having a little break out here and then I'll probably get back to it. Um, I'm actually excited to do the work because I'm listening to Harrow while I do it. And I'm just, it's so mesmerizing. There's absolutely beautiful, beautiful use of words and using words like delicious for something that's macabre and it so taps into my jam and I am just blown away. It, it's this mystery of things and I feel like I'm starting to put some things together, but I, I don't know if there'll be more twists and turns and it's just so beautiful. I'm not, I'm not wanting to spoil it for people, but I'm, I'm definitely becoming more and more okay with the second person because it's, yeah, it's clear cut between um, different storylines, different timelines, and there's definitely time is a very interesting concept in this book. And I just, I don't want to say anything too much now, but there is just so much love for Harrow. And like, I love Gideon, but I can see me reading this one even more and if it keeps going on this just brilliantly bizarre path I can I can see myself actually liking this one even more so yay Thames and Muir you are amazing um yeah I just I can't re wait to read more and I think I'm going to be squeezing it in as much as possible so we'll probably get through it a lot quicker than I expected I would um yeah, it's, it's amazing and I can't wait to touch base with you guys again and I've, I have been reading along with it, um, highlighting stuff and the audio is fabulous as well and I just, the, oh my god, the interactions between some of the characters literally had me laughing out loud and just oh my god i i looked like an idiot when i was driving home because i'm just cracking up laughing um and yeah it's just been absolutely delicious i can't wait to get to more of it and i will touch base when i do okay hey everyone oh my gosh um stupid book um Hero the Ninth just made me cry. I'm, <laughs> I'm about 70% in and I'm just, all my hopes and dreams of this book were just blown out of the water in just absolutely all the, all the best ways. Um, it's just phenomenal and yeah, I just, I can't say more about this and like without spoiling it for people, but wow. Um, let me just grab the book for a sec because anyone who has read it or if you plan to read it, page 380. Yep. Yeah. Starts at the bottom of 379 
chapter 43 and um most of it's highlighted well there's a good fat paragraph or two highlighted because it's so beautiful and heartbreaking and it's just everything so um yeah i'm just sitting in in, in the kitchen well sitting in the living room and the kitchen's behind me a mess as a normal um but i just wow this book is just i'm so curious to see how it's going to end now i i just want the rest of the world to go away so i can finish it i'm just so broken and filled up and just everything contradicting each other and I just am so in awe of the writing and the story is fantastic and the mystery and you know any kind of confusion at the start um I think I was right in some ways but not entirely and I just oh I just want to just I can't get enough of it I um can't wait to finish it, but then I I know Electo the Ninth isn't out yet, so it's like no. So it looks like I'll be going back and reading Gideon and then Harrow again, because it's just so <sighs> everything. Um, I will touch base again when probably won't touch base again until I finished it. I'm hoping that won't be too far away. Um, I I predict no sleep tonight um and to getting it done but we'll see how we go um yeah we'll we'll oh my god it's just ripped me apart and just amazing hey everyone Nick Cohen here so i just um i sat down and went through all the previous little vids that i took throughout reading harry the ninth and um it's hilarious i'm just like it's so disjointed so you know i apologize for that but just all the little things i've said and i'm just like oh the naive girl who had no idea what she had in store for her um 100 five star book i absolutely adored it i know there is like almost no um my life vids going on um on here for this one it just i just got so swept up in reading this but hopefully that's all right you know i don't know let me know um but anyway so i've been going through and just kind of recapping everything and it's just so good so so good so I absolutely ended up adoring, adoring the second person stuff. Um, I twigged to what was happening with it about halfway through. I never mentioned that earlier. Um, but yeah, it's just, but it totally blew my mind. Like I, you think you know what's going on and then they just go Poof. Um, but then there's all these breadcrumbs and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, absolutely. But overall, like, just give me a lecto, damn it. Um, I cannot wait for the third one, but it's one of those books. It's like Gideon. It's going to take several reads and even then it's going to feel like every time you read it, you're going to get something else from it and something deeper and something you missed the first time because there's just so much in it. Now, the previous video as well, this bloody book made me cry. I have only cried, this is the second time I've cried in a book. Oh, yeah, that's it. Um, I feel books and I love them to bits and I'm crazy about them, but I very rarely cry in them. So, yeah, that blew me away. That video, I was like, oh, you poor sod. Um, but this, it was so good. So that part that I cried at um it's so beautiful it's a beautiful section it's highlighted and all the stuff page 380 and that chapter was just intense it's chapter 43 however when i got to chapter 44 and this is the brilliance of um tamsin muir's writing 
43 ripped me apart. Like, it smashed me. It broke me. It destroyed me. And then I get to chapter 44. And yes, I scroll. I do. I do. I scroll. I highlight. And I do not apologize ever for this. I love books that have markings all over it. I know it's like a big, oh dear, no, no for some people, but there is nothing more exciting than when you get a book and it's got scrolls all over it. And it's just so delicious to have a reader's input on it as well. But anyway, um, so anyway, I have to read out what I've read about this chapter. This chapter is gold. Do not listen or read while operating heavy machinery. So satisfying, so fucking hilarious. Oh my God. I just, the humor, and it's just, oh, it's this horrible, terrifying, heartbreaking stuff balanced with this, oh my God, I am crying with laughter because of this book. It is just perfect and delicious and when I finished it I I was like seriously that's how you're gonna finish it seriously give me the third book I really need to look up where the third book is coming out so these books for me are absolutely everything um I am so glad to have the physical copies the uh, Moira Quirk I think I think from memory is the narrator for it did a fabulous job. I've actually now gone and gotten Gideon the Ninth's narration as well because, hey, why not? So I'm planning at some point, some downtime when I'm not really in the mood for reading something new and I'll go through and I'll listen to Gideon and Harrow all again because it's just divine and I'm so curious to... Um, read Gideon again now, knowing what's happened in Harrow. Um, oh God, I want to, I want to spoil it, but, but I don't, because you have to read them. Like, oh, they are just the most incredible books. And I'm just blown away that like, Tamsin Muir, you are amazing. And I cannot wait to read Electo the Ninth. No pressure at all. Um, <laughs> and I can't see, I can't wait to see what else she does. I I really can't. If she's going to be one of those authors that when her books come out, I'll be like, oh, I have got to check it out. Because her, it does, it, it almost borders on like a literary writing. It's, it's not. It's not light, it's not easy, it's it's quite heavy, but it's beautifully poetic and rhythmic. And once you get into it, um, you're fine. But if you are used to like lighter books, it can be a bit hard, a bit difficult to get into it to uh, first off. Um, but other than that, it, it's so good. I highly recommend it. Definitely go get Gideon first, obviously. It's one of those books that, you have to read the first one to understand any, any of the second one. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Five star, golden five star. Oh, mwah, love it. Thanks y'all. <laughs>